Here comes Bod. Bod's in bed. He's having a dream. And in the dream, he's eating a large bowl of strawberries and cream. Next morning, he can think of nothing but strawberries and cream. <laughs> Along comes Frank, the postman, with a letter for Bud. Morning, Bud, says Frank. But Bud doesn't see or hear him. He wouldn't have noticed if an elephant had been the postman. He's in such a daydream about the strawberries. That's funny, says Frank. What can Bod be thinking about? And he's so curious to know that he can't help following him. They come to Farmer Barlymo. Morning, says Barlymo. But they walk past without answering him. Bod so busy thinking about strawberries and Frank so busy thinking about what Bod can be thinking about, they wouldn't have noticed if Barley Mo had been a scarecrow. Well, I never, says Barley Mo. And full of wonder, he follows them. everybody, says Aunt Flo, but they're all so busy with their own thoughts that they walk past without answering her. They wouldn't have noticed her if she had been standing on her head. What can they be up to, says Aunt Flo. And lost in thought, she follows them. By and by, they come to a hole in the ground. Bod doesn't see it. He's still dreaming of strawberries. Frank is so busy thinking about what Bod can be thinking about that he doesn't even notice that Bod has disappeared. He, too, walks into the hole. And Barlymo is so busy thinking about what Bod and Frank can be thinking about that he doesn't see the hole either. Nor does Aunt Flo. Then along comes P.C. Copper. He sees the hole. That's a dangerous hole, he says. Someone might fall down that. So he puts up signs saying, Danger, stop, and directs people away from the hole. Suddenly, he hears voices coming from the hole. Hello, hello, he says, shining his torch. Anybody down there? Yes, says Bod. And guess what we found down here? Oh, dear. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. I give up, says P.C. Copper. An enormous bowl of strawberries and cream, just like I dreamt about. Come and join us. I can't join you, says P.C. Copper. And I can't eat on duty, but save a strawberry for me and I'll pop it under my helmet to eat later on. There goes Bod. And here comes... what? It's something that's used at night. Now, can you see what it is? A torch. In the dark, a torch beam just lights up parts of things. Now, can you tell what this is part of? 
What's got a top like that? A bicycle. And there's something else there. What do those wheels belong to? A pram. What's that? Are those ears? It's a cat. It's gone into the night. Can you see anything else? Ears and whiskers, a mouse. It's gone. Into its hole. Hole is house to a mouse and home sweet home to a vole. A hole is not for a moose or a seal, but for a mole, a hole's ideal. Hole is den to a fox and burrow to a rabbit. But it's not for us, says the rhinoceros. We've never got into the habit. Hole is home for a shrew and set for a badger too. But for larger mammals like giraffes or Camels, a hole just won't do. One, two, three, holes in the middle of the road. Three round holes in the middle of the road. Three round holes in the middle of the road. But if one large lorry should empty in its load, There'd be two round holes in the middle of the road. Two round holes in the middle of the road. But if one large lorry should empty in its load. There'd be one round hole in the middle of the road. One round hole in the middle of the road. But if one large lorry should empty in its load. There'd be no round holes in the middle of the road. Alberto Frog and his amazing animal band were practicing for a concert when a carrier pigeon fluttered down with a note for Alberto. It said, animal band to report immediately to the Queen of Elsewhere. The animal band in no time at all were on a boat on the high seas going to Elsewhere. When they arrived, the Queen told them the sad story of the King of Elsewhere. He just can't sleep at night, she said which is bad enough, but what's worse is that he takes it out on everybody else. First he wakes me up. And then he wakes up the cook. He wakes up the soldiers. He even wakes up the cows. Now, Alberto, said the Queen, I've heard a lot about your music. Perhaps when he goes to bed at night, you could play him something to send him to sleep. Alberto knew the very thing. 
And that night, the animal band played the king a lullaby. As they played, the king started to nod. He continued to nod. His crown fell and he fell asleep. Next day, the king was thoroughly refreshed and in very good spirits. He ruled very well all morning, signed all sorts of letters and issued all sorts of commands. Then, after an enormous lunch, he said to the queen, uh, I, I feel like having a sleep again. Call that frog fellow in and have him play me to sleep. The queen was worried that if the king slept for long in the day, it would spoil his sleep at night. So she said to Alberto, play him something to give him 40 winks, but no more. I know the very thing, said Alberto. Listen. said the king, waking up. Amazing what 40 winks will do. Now for some more ruling. How can I possibly thank you, said the queen. Name anything, however valuable, and it shall be yours. Well, um, said Alberto. The squirrels knew what he was going to ask for. The cats knew what he was going to ask for. The badger knew what he was going to ask for. Well, um, he said, I uh, wouldn't say no to a milkshake. Any particular flavour, said the Queen. I bet it's raspberry, said the badger. Mm, I bet it's lime, said the cats. I bet it's, um, it, 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 it's vanilla, said the squirrels. Chocolate, please, said Alberto. And they all got a surprise. There goes the animal band. And here comes... Do you remember? PC Copper. Another copper. Snap. Bod and Frank the Postman. Now that's not Snap, that's two different pictures. You say Snap when you see two pictures the same. Bod and Farmer Barlimo. No, that's not Snap. Bod and Copper. No. Bod and Bod. Bod on one side and Bod on the other. So that makes Snap. <laughs> There goes Bod and his friends. But he'll be back. 